Bell's 525 Relentless Flight Test Program is in its final stages, and the company showed a production-conforming aircraft at the recent Heli Expo in Anaheim, California. FAA flight testing will conclude after about 2,000 hours of flying, and the four helicopters are at about the three-quarter mark, but the manufacturer is not providing a timeline for certification. Bell says that the goal of the Super Medium 525 is to offer the mission capability of a heavy helicopter, but with the economics of a medium. This could prove vital as the oil and gas sector continues to face headwinds. The 525 is the world's first fly-by-wire commercial helicopter, and the technology should add an additional envelope of safety for pilots and passengers. The flight control system is triple redundant with a BAE flight computer and Garmin G5000H touchscreen-controlled avionics. Flying this aircraft is very simple. It's, it's a little bit unlike some other aircraft, but it's very easy to learn, very intuitive. The flight, the fly by wire flight control laws um, really do a lot for you. And, you know, at first there's some hesitation, especially with high time pilots. Is it too much of a change? Over and over again, we've brought them in either when we bring them into the sim or in the cases where we've brought pilots in to fly the aircraft. You get used to the side stick controllers, you get used to the full time fly by wire augmentation. And even for those who are doubtful, it's, it's amazing to see every time how quickly um, that perspective changes. You get them in the sim, and especially you get them on board the aircraft. We've had pilots come back and say, well, I was concerned about, about really how it would feel, you know, side stick controllers. And then when I was finished, I realized I hadn't thought about it the whole flight because it was so natural. It handles much more easily, but it'll do things full time that other aircraft won't. An example is uh, holding a bank angle. So flying around the aircraft, you're in forward flight, you turn into an angle of bank turn, let go of the sticks, it will actually maintain that turn until you tell it to do something else. So our philosophy on the, the fly by our flight control laws, the pilot is always in command. So if the pilot commands something, the aircraft will do it, including exceeding limitations if so, if, if that's what the pilot decides to do. The fly by our flight control system augments the operation within those limits and it also tells you when you're getting close to those limits and, and you know how to continue to safely operate the aircraft. Passenger comfort and safety has been a key consideration in the design. This example is set up for 16 passengers, but it is possible to seat up to 20. A mantra early on in the program was that a comfortable passenger is a safer passenger. Someone who is not just physically comfortable, but also comfortable about their surroundings, their ability to see out and understand where they are and what's going on, the ability to reach over and touch. You know, I'm as far away as you can get from an exit in a 525 and I'm touching it. And you'll never, you'll never get farther away than that. You know exactly where you're going. There's no, you don't have to think about it. These are, if you've noticed, great wide seats. They are designed for your offshore mission, including offshore missions where you have full protective gear on. We've sized it that way. We've actually brought in um, survival suits and had folks load up and verified and really validated the design intent and the size of these seats. They are big and comfortable. When the aircraft is certified, it will be ready for offshore energy missions out of the box, with kits for a variety of other missions following shortly. So uh, quite a few kits, over 30 kits certified with the initial type certification. Um, a good portion of those are oriented towards the oil and gas market, things like your floats and rafts. For further certification and development, we have a, a slew of kits related to a lot of other missions. The majority of those have been actually engineered into the platform from the beginning as well. In many cases, you have penetrations in the airframe and, and a lot designed in such that when that kit is ready and certified, modification is very straightforward. We asked Josh how he feels about the 525 approaching service entry after all of the hard work the team has put into it. Tremendously excited. I have, having been on the program as long as I have, um, you know, as a clean sheet design aircraft, remembering what it means really to design an aircraft starting with nothing. And then to have a beautiful aircraft that you designed um, from nothing and then to see it go and start doing those missions, saving lives, um, helping people do the jobs that they're going to do, there's nothing like it. It's very, very special. We're all very excited, the whole team. The 525 Relentless has a maximum takeoff weight of 20,500 pounds and a maximum range of 580 nautical miles without reserve. The aircraft is powered by two 1,714 shaft horsepower GE CT7 2F1 engines driving an all-composite five-blade main rotor system and a four-blade tail rotor. GE Aviation received FAA type certification for the CT-72F1 in 2019. Thanks for watching this AIN video. Please like, subscribe, and share it if you've enjoyed it. Also, visit AINonline.com for all the latest on the aviation industry.